Speaking of humbuckers, let's plug a humbucker into the EP booster. This is a O10 chambered R8. I think Gibson's making the best guitars they've ever made. Besides since the 50s, I think the chamber guitars that are poo-pooed by most of the guys on the forum are wonderful. And I didn't know anything about them until I worked on them in my repair shop. And uh, they kept coming across my bench. And uh, I love them. I think they're great. And they're relatively uh, inexpensive. So this is stock Burst Busters with the AV Mojo. Um, pretty much unmolested. Both pickups. Back to go. EP booster at seven. It's nice, but the amp set low. Goose the amp to six. 1974X. That's great, okay? But now, same. Let's go to one more guitar. Les Pauls, my favorite. Gotta have a Les Paul and a Marshall in your life. That's for sure. That's certain. 09, R9. Uh, basically, completely molested by me. Uh, Montreux rings, finished clone guard, real 59 knobs. All hardware aged, stained fingerboard, polished 6.6 uh, six nylon nut, fake 58 tuners, real bumblebees in both guitars, capacitors, very important. If you're a Les Paul geek and you're not hip to real vintage Sprague bumblebees, 0 0.022 by 400s, get yourself a set. Forget going out to dinner with your girlfriend for one day uh, if you got one. And get yourself some bumblebees and have controlled mayhem in your life. So this is, uh, let's just get to the good stuff. That's no EP boost. Let's have some fun, EP booster. I'm Andy Brower. If you ever need anything, give me a call. Happy to talk to you. And uh, love the exotic stuff, the raw vintage, and the EWS stuff. Definitely well worth checking out. Definitely worth your time and way worth your money. See ya.